really scary. I never witnessed anything so close. I mean, I was right in back of them. Cars crushed and destroyed and people left battered and bloodied on both sides of the 94 freeway. It was all from a horrible accident that shut down the freeway and impacted thousands of drivers. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson and I'm Riel Creighton in for Kimberly Hunt. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is in central San Diego with a chaos captured by 10 News cameras. The 94 is moving smoothly tonight, but late this afternoon it was gridlock as both sides of the 94 were completely shut down from Euclid Avenue to Lemon Grove and all the way into downtown San Diego. Five people were sent to the hospital Friday afternoon after this pickup truck with a camper shell flipped over the center divide and these two vehicles collided head on. Sky 10 was overhead as emergency crews arrived on scene and on the ground as dozens gathered on an overpass to watch the rescue effort below. A rescue effort in which some who were almost involved in the crash jumped in to help. I helped as many people get out of the car as possible. It was really scary. I never witnessed anything so close. I mean, I was right in back of them. Meantime, this man who was bloodied and bruised from the crash had to be cut out of his vehicle by firefighters using the jaws of life. And this man, also left bloodied, was hauled off on a stretcher wearing a neck brace. In all, five were transported to local hospitals but are expected to be okay. Before the CHP could open the freeway back up, a patrol car had to be used to push one of the vehicles involved to the center divide. It was just after 1.30 when the crash shut down the freeway. It wasn't until just before three that all lanes were reopened. And this crash is still under investigation. The CHP blames the crash on driver error and does not believe drugs or alcohol were involved. Reporting from Central San Diego, Preston Phillips, 10 News.